The situation in Sudan has left residents reeling from its effects. Reports coming out of the country indicate that people are experiencing shortages of power and water. Many others have closed down their businesses, while remaining traders have been accused of monopolizing commodities. I am Othan al Asbad, a journalist residing in the East Nile region. For the fifth day in a row, the pace of escalating events continued. Clashes between the army and the rapid support forces in Khartoum left a negative number of incidents in Khartoum. There have been renewed crises in energy and water services and homes, in addition to the power outage since Saturday, which lasted for two and three consecutive days. In addition, there are neighborhoods whose residents do not have these services in hot weather with fasting, which affected those who fast. The humanitarian situation is also very difficult in the markets. Most of the shops have closed their doors, as well as bakeries, and even those that open their doors, there's a rise in consumer goods. A number of citizen consumers accuse merchants of monopolizing some commodities and storing them to generate money and profits, and they believe that the merchants did not take into account the citizens' conditions in the current conditions. Water crises have extended to a number of neighborhoods in the neighborhood in which I live, and around it there is a continuous outage of the water network, and a number of neighborhoods suffer as well, as well as houses. Some neighborhoods also relied on two or one house to collect their water needs. Citizens suffer from current electricity crises. Citizens also suffer from electricity crises. There are patients who have life-saving medicines that need to be refrigerated. Hospitals are also in a very difficult condition due to the number of injured people. There are also a number of injured people who were unable to reach these hospitals. Even the ambulance teams were unable to evacuate them due to the continuing clashes in the streets. Also, a number of houses were bombed, and a number of children and women were injured. Yesterday, a shell fell in a house near us, as a result of which three young children died, two of them are brothers. It is very unfortunate that a number of houses were destroyed as a result of the continuous beatings. A number of people were injured, and in parallel, economic crises are increasing in light of difficult living conditions. Most people depend on daily marginal employment. Their business stopped completely after the markets were closed, and they need money to spend on themselves and their families. Numerous humanitarian crises, electricity and water crises, and a very difficult humanitarian situation experienced by the citizens in Sudan, even we have here in the neighborhood in which I lived and next to it. We hope that the two parties will listen to the voice of reason and stop the war so that Sudan can enjoy stability.